Hallelujah, for you are righteous and you are holy God. And we bow our heads before you, God. We bow our hearts, dear Father. Hallelujah. And humble ourselves, dear Father. Knowing, dear God, that you are above all things. You are sovereign God. You control it all, dear Father. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and all they that dwell therein. So, Father, we magnify your name for who you are tonight, Father. Hallelujah. We exalt your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Father. Hallelujah. We pray that you be glorified tonight, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we welcome you, Holy Spirit. Have full control. Hallelujah. Use us for your glory and for your honor. Hallelujah. Let the message go forth, hallelujah, into every heart, dear Father, that you desire it to reach tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. And we praise your name, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. It's a good thing to be in the house of oh, the yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. To give praises to his name. Amen. Hallelujah. So we just want to bless his name as we come together. Amen. Just want to thank God for you who are gathered here and those who will watch on Zoom. May God bless you. May the service bless you. Those who will watch it. Later on, dear God, in whatever medium, dear God, I pray God bless you. I pray it ministers to your life. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm going to ask for Pastor Payne to pray for us tonight. Pray God's blessing on this service. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our loving Heavenly Father, at this evening hour, we are gathered here in your presence. We come, Father, in no other name but the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. And, Father, we are totally dependent upon the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit to unctionize us and use us tonight that our worship, Father, will be a sweet smelling Savior on the day. Father, we are here for no other reason but to give honor and glory and praise and worship to thee. So, Father, we pray, Lord, that you will now prepare our hearts to worship thee yes, in yes. only the way that we can. Amen. Father, we bring the worship team before thee tonight. Yes. Those who be ministering sound. Father, the ministry of the word, the reading of the lesson. Father, the ministry in sound. We pray, Lord, for the anointing tonight yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. We pray, Lord, for your servant who will minister the word of God. Yes. We pray, Lord, that the word will come forth with power and with boldness through the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit, Father, and prepare our hearts that even long after this word, Father, is given, it will still be sowing and reaping a harvest for thee in the name of Jesus, for those who are listening over you too. So we give thee all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise, and we hand over this service into thy hands, Heavenly Father. Receive the honor, receive the glory, receive the worship. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're coming to you from the island of Barbados. Amen. Hallelujah. We just want to encourage you to praise the Lord with us. Amen. Feel free in His presence. Amen. With everything that has breath. Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Mighty to say. Hallelujah.
February 1st, verse 1 to 11, from the New King James Version. Then, the Odyssey said nothing, saying he said, Before all those who stood by him, and he cried out, Make everyone go up for me. So no one stood with him, while Joseph made himself known to his brothers. And he wept aloud. And the Egyptians and the house of Pharaoh heard it. Then Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Does my father still live? But his brothers could not answer him, for they were dismayed in his presence. And Joseph said to his brothers, Please come near to me. So they came near. Then he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. But now, do not therefore be grieved or angry with yourself, because you sold me here, for God sent me before you to preserve life. For these two years, the family had been in the land, and there are still five years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvesting. And God sent me before you to preserve a posterity for you in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now, it was not you who sent me here, but God. And he had made me a father to Pharaoh, and a lord of all his house, and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. Hurry and go up to my father and say to him, Thus says your son Joseph, God has made me lord of of all Egypt, come down to me, do not tarry. You shall dwell in the land of Goshen, and you shall be near to me, you and your children, your children's children, your flocks and your herds, and all that you have. There I will provide for you, lest you and your household, and all that you have come to poverty, for there are still five years of famine. Hear any collection for the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated in God's time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Pastor, the mentoring song. God bless him as they come to the Lord this time. Amen.
Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for his grace. Hallelujah. For his mercy. His kindness. His love. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And have the word of God. May God bless his servant. Hallelujah. He ministers the word of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I am very thankful for another wonderful opportunity to share a few thoughts with you. And there were many thoughts going through my mind. <laughs> but I thank God for clarity. I thank God for clarity. And you know what came to my spirit? The benefits of forgiveness. You know, there's a lot of talk about unforgiveness. But I'm looking at it from a positive point of view. There are real benefits from forgiveness. In the history that is put before us tonight, and you go through in your mind, what this young man had to go through. It would cause you to realize that you and I haven't gone through anything yet. I got any witnesses in here? You think your story is so terrible. But because God had a plan for this young man. And he opened his mouth and spoke it. It brought him real sadness yes, yes. but God oh, yes. oh praise the Lord Amen. and I wonder if tonight you could put yourself in the picture and be able to see that much of what you and I are going through and still have to go through but God you and I have to go through many difficulties in life yes. and at times we feel we have sinned mm. we feel Lord why? But all that this young man went through was for the glory of God. And his test came and your test and my test is upon us. Yes. I better say that again. Yes. Your test and my test is upon us. Yes. Whether we will look at the picture from the top like an eagle, oh, or if we can pick at the <laughs> pick like a chicken, <laughs> or if we're gonna look at our picture like an eagle. And say, God is working his purposes out. <laughs> Logically, <clears throat> in the flesh, many of us would give up. And say, can't handle this no more. But when you and I take another look from another perspective, and recognize that God works in mysterious ways, we will have a change of heart. Amen. Amen. Yes. I was kind of wondering to myself, but God knows who to choose. And God has chosen you. Amen. And chosen me. Because He knows that we are going to forgive. Yes. 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 I got any witnesses in here? 
So let the enemy do his best. God is working his purposes out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when you and I look back at <clears throat> some of the things that we have passed through. That's right. And what we have done, we will be having a tendency to say, this ain't right. Yes. You and I might even say, it is witchcraft. But this man, this what have I done to deserve being put in a pit. Yes, yes. And it is only God's mercy too. Yes. Because another brother wanted to kill him. Yes, yes. And then what did he deserve to be sold as a slave? Mm. And when he had to walk every step. Yes. 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 When others were in the court, that would never be something that would be his portion. Like you and I are going through some things that would never, we would never think it would happen to us. That's right. That's right. I can almost hear. I raise my children and da 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 da, and I don't understand what's going on. This is some kind of a voodoo or oh. some kind of a magic or some kind of uh, witchcraft or something. But you and I cannot see all that God is doing. Oh. I got any witnesses in here? Or you can see all that God doing. But God, He. He had to go through that. Yes. And then he began to feel, oh Lord, I thank you. A working now in Potiphar's house and they have seen my ability uh, and they're giving me an opportunity to be over all that in his house except his wife. Yes, yes. And he didn't mind. He was glad. But he was a boy. No boy. I included. Yes. But his principle told him, you cannot do this. It will hurt your God. Yes. You and I have got to know yes. what challenge is before us. Yes. That will hurt the ministry. Yes. And will hurt our ministry. Yes. Sometimes it looks as though, but after all, other people do it. So. And some get away. But you can't hide from yourself. Talk to me now. Some people seem to be very hard. And they think they can do anything and get away with it. And you do the slightest thing. And you can't even sleep. You know why? God has called you. And you have a godly fear. So, give God some praise. And when you see the enemy, you say, this is my opportunity now. This is my opportunity now. But God knew who he chose. That's right. And God knows what he chose you to. Right. So don't let him down. No, no. Don't let him down. He knew why he chose you. Amen. There were some that went to school with you and you didn't choose them. No. He Amen. chose you Amen. for the purpose that you must fulfill. Because he know you're going to fulfill it. Amen. Amen. And when he saw his brethren, instead of saying, this is my opportunity, want to treat me bad enough, this is my turn. 
He forgave them. And this is it. So verse 8 says, So no, it was not you who sent me here. But God. And he has made me a father to Pharaoh and Lord of all his house and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. You know, hurry up and go and tell me father and all that. But look, don't miss the point. Get it clear. It is not who seem to be pushing you. It is God. Lord, let me get it yet. You blaming Tom, Dick, and Harry. But this one, Joseph came to the understanding and said, it was not you who sent me here. But God, because God saw the bigger. Can you find it in your heart to forgive those who have hurt you? Yes. Can you believe that it is God who allowed them to yes. hurt you? Yes. To bring you out. <laughs> I am encouraging everybody to get a study Bible. Although Joseph's brothers had wanted to get rid of him, God used even their evil actions to fulfill his ultimate plan. He had sent Joseph ahead to preserve their lives. Save Egypt and prepare the way for the beginning of the nation of Israel. So sometimes you are part of a bigger picture that you have not seen. Because it has not evolved yet. Ooh. His plans are not dictated by human actions. When others intend evil toward you, remember Joseph's words to his brethren. You meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many people alive. And smiling because most of us want to get to the kingdom. But we don't walk past through the prison. We ain't going in no pit. No God, not that. We don't say it. Help us Lord. Joseph had been rejected. Some of you feel like if you reject it. Yes. Kidnapped. Enslaved. And imprisoned. Although his brothers had been unfaithful to him. He graciously forgave them. And shared his prosperity. Joseph is one of the clearly Christ-like heroes of the Old Testament. Of the Old Testament. What about you? What about me? Yes. Are you a hero? Yes. Are you a hero for forgiveness? <laughs> he demonstrated how God forgives yes. and showers us with goodness even though we have sinned against him. The same forgiveness and blessings are ours if we ask for them. See that you do not become troubled along the way, he told them. And it could have made don't quarrel along the way. You know something? We, somebody hiding behind somebody. Yes. You know something? We quarrel. Yes. Yeah. We do. Tell the truth. We do. Sometimes yes. we complain. Yes. Whoever get hold of this video, you got to know. Aim but you. It is God that allow you to do what you do. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Jacob needed some evidence before he could believe the incredible news that Joseph was alive. Similarly, you know what is like history? Mm -hmm. Thomas refused to believe that Jesus had risen from the dead until he could see and touch him. It is hard to change what you believe before all the facts. And sometimes even with the facts, good news can be difficult to believe. But don't ever give up hope that God has a wonderful future in store for you. Amen. But you and I have got to pass through. Yes, that's right. That was Old Testament. Yes. New Testament. Matthew 18, 21. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? I think the Jews used to say about three times or something like that. And he thought he was being generous to ask about seven times. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. In other words, you can't count. Are you got many? Are you got many? Volunteers are here tonight. You hurt me once, you can't hurt me twice. If you hurt me the second time, you ain't gonna hurt me the third time. I ain't foolish. My head big, but it got his sense. All these are the things that we have said. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And when he had begun to settle accounts, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. But as he was able to, as he was not able to pay, his master commanded that he be sold. That was the tradition, with his wife and children, and all that he had, and that payment be made. The servant therefore fell down before him, saying, "Master, have patience with me, and I will pay you all." You see what humbling yourself can do. Yes. You see what humbling yourself can do. All right. Then the master of that servant was moved with compassion, released him, and forgave him the debt. But that servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii, much less. And he laid hold on him and took him by the throat. You can imagine this. Pay me what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down at his feet. Yes. Did he say anything? And begged him saying, Have patience with me and I will pay you all. And he would not, but went and threw him into prison till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what had been done, they were very grieved. And came and told their master all that had been done. Then his master, after he had called him, said to him, you wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. Any witnesses in here? We ask God to forgive us for so many things. I let our children or, or somebody connected to us do something, we want to kill them. Then his master, after he called him, said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. Should you not also have had compassion on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you. And his master was angry and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that we do. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so my heavenly father also will do to you if each of you from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses. If after this word today, and you and I don't go home and do some introspection and see who we got to forgive, we're going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. 
because these words don't come for nothing. Jesus looked ahead to a new day when he would be present with his followers, not in body, but through the, his Holy Spirit, in the body of the believers in the church. The sincere agreement of two people in prayer, and that is why I like this. The sincere agreement of two people in prayer is more powerful than the superficial agreement of Amen. thousands. Amen. Because Christ's Holy Spirit is with them. Amen. My y'all should be y'all should be nothing on that. Two or more believers filled with the Holy Spirit will pray according to God's will and their own. Thus their request will be granted. Amen. Amen. I want to put in this as it comes to me. To all of us who are on Zoom and all who are listening. We are living in serious days. That's right. We are living in serious yes. days. Yes. And you cannot afford to be lukewarm. No. no. Can I say that again? Yes. 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 Sure. The witchcraft, mm. another craft yes. of the enemy no, is yes. so serious yes. so that true. you can't afford to be lukewarm. You and I have yes. got to be hot. Yes. yes. Got to make up our mind to be hot Amen. for Christ. Amen. Amen. In biblical times, serious consequences awaited those who could not pay their debts. Mm -hmm. A person lending money could seize the borrower who couldn't pay and force him or his family to work until the debt was paid. The debtor could also be thrown into prison or his family could be sold into slavery to help pay off the debt. The hope was that the debtor while in prison would sell off his land holdings or that relatives would pay the debt. If not, the debtor could remain in prison for life. Here we go. Because God has forgiven all our sins, we must not withhold. You hear this? Thing? Because God has forgiven all our sins, we must not withhold forgiveness from others. Amen. You can't hide from this word. This word God has in trouble. As we realize how completely Jesus has forgiven us, it should produce a grateful flood of forgiveness towards others. When we don't forgive others, we are setting ourselves above Jesus' law of love. Do you want to do that? Even Jesus himself Luke 23, 34. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they divided his garments and cast lot. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Amen. Here, as Jesus was preparing to inaugurate his kingdom through his death, two dying criminals took the places on his right and his left. As Jesus had explained to his two position conscious disciples, a person who wants to be close to Jesus must be prepared I know you want you want this part. You don't want this part. As Jesus had explained to his two position conscious disciples, a person who wants to be close to Jesus must be prepared to suffer and die. One person in here said, mm -hmm. <laughs> The way to the kingdom. 
The way to the kingdom is the way of the the way. Brethren, this is serious. This is the New Testament. In the Old Testament, you saw what Joseph had to go through in order to be in charge of all the produce and to save lives. Uh, he had to go to prison. And now in the New Testament, the way to the kingdom is the way of the cross. I hear one yes. Yes. Jesus asked the Father to, to forgive the people who were putting him to death. <laughs> Jewish leaders, Roman politicians and soldiers, bystanders. And God answered that prayer by opening up the way of salvation even to Jesus' murderers. Mm -hmm. Jesus was suffering the most horrible, painful death ever devised by sinful humans. And he looked at the people responsible for suffering and prayed for their forgiveness. Amen. Do you pray for the forgiveness of your wicked, of the people who wickedly interfere with you? You pray that the rich. <laughs> Do something different. As the second man was about to die, he turned to Jesus for forgiveness. And Jesus accepted him. It shows that our deeds don't save us. Because he didn't have no time to do nothing. All he had to do was die. Right. Our faith in Jesus Christ does. It is never too late to turn to God. Even in his misery. Amen. Amen. Jesus had mercy on his criminals. On this criminal who chose to believe him. Our lives will be much more useful and fulfilling if we turn to God early. But even those who repent at the very last moment will be with God in paradise. Amen. 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 Come in down quickly. Matthew 6, 12. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Jesus gives a startling warning about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. If we refuse to forgive others, I, I know that this, uh, this one here. God. If we refuse to forgive others, God will also refuse to forgive us. Why? Because by not forgiving others, we deny our common ground as sinners in need of God's forgiveness. And we break the family relationship God wants us to have with all people. Our salvation from sin is not based on our forgiving others, but we can't receive God's forgiveness until we realize what forgiveness really means. We can easily ask God for forgiveness for ourselves, but then hang on to grudges. Somebody says it's true. You see this here? You see this? This thing, this thing gonna get there. We can easily ask God for forgiveness for ourselves, but they hang on to grudges yes. toward others who are difficult to forgive. So true. So true. Oh. Yes. yes. Lord, when did you give me this word? Oh. Whenever we ask God to forgive us for sin, we should first ask ourselves. If we have forgiven the people who have wronged us. I saw. I saw the landing. And I took it. It is now up to you. And up to me. And I can finish off with this. That many are sick in body. That's so true. Many are sick in mind yes. because of unforgiveness. Yes. 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 We have made a habit in this ministry. If you have unforgiveness in your heart for 
anybody. We wouldn't pray for your healing. It don't make sense. I, I gotta say it again. Some don't know. You didn't know. You look at me with your, like you're surprised. We were agonizing and praying yes. for a young woman. And it looked like if we were praying prayers of blood. I mean, I was tired. And we were praying till your tongue like you had to drink water. And nothing was happening. And we weren't accustomed to that. Because when we pray, we would see results. I think it was you, Mother Grace. Mother Grace asked the young lady, you forgive your husband? She said, he? I would never forgive him. <laughs> what he do me, I would never forgive him. And as a man of God, you don't understand, I said, brethren, that's it. We ain't praying no more. Praise the Lord. And I told her, until you forgive him, we ain't praying about this anymore. Mm -hmm. And she sent a message sometime after that, asking if she could come back. I sent back a message and said, you, pray, you, pray, you, you forgive your husband yet? Don't come until you forgive him. You surprised, right? I'm not calling you him. So we have made that a policy. If a person lets us know that they have any unforgiveness in their heart for anybody, we do not waste time praying. Because Jesus is the great example. And he says, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. So I leave this word with you. Search yourself and find out if some of the little grudges that you have aren't as a result of unforgiveness. Sometimes we even go as far as to justify in our mind mm -hmm. why we should have a little grudge. <laughs> and we go as far as saying, "Art right for you, that's about art right for you, but you all know what you went through." Yes, that's what they said. And yet, we have evidence in our midst mm -hmm. of many yes. that have forgiven. And God work for them. Amen. 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 So to God be the glory. Yes, to God be the honor. Yes. And to God be the praise. Amen. praise Amen. That is the word for us. Amen. Amen. And for you who are on Zoom. Hallelujah. And for you who are on Zoom. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to pray and put in a benediction for thee video father thank you thank you jesus thank you for bringing this word to our attention Hallelujah. sometimes lord we think we have forgiven somebody so true. and if they make the slightest move oh, we're ready to shoot them, them down them to pieces. so lord we are sorry thank you for speaking to our hearts Creating us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. We want to, we are determined to overcome any unforgiveness in our heart because there are so many beautiful benefits from forgiveness. So many benefits health, joy, peace, hallelujah, and life. Hallelujah. And life. life. So Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Forgive us. Forgive us. Restore us. Restore. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord cause his face to shine upon thee and be yes. gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up the light of his covers upon thee and give thee peace. No one ever more. The people say. Amen. For prayer and counsel in your walk with God, please email us at armoroflightbarbados at gmail.com. Thank you and may God bless you.